So in terms of applied research and development, um, this is the, the grant funding side of our activity. We have an open call three times a year. There's a call open at the moment, um, which closes on the 7th of August. It's a two-stage process with the intention that there's the amount of time that you need to invest in the first stage isn't too onerous. Um, but there's a reasonably high fallout rate and then we really help those who get through that first phase we put a lot of effort into mentoring and helping those uh, teams then prepare the full proposal through to the second stage. Uh, it's six months end to end from the start of the call to um, notifying people that they've got the grant. The vast majority of that is with the, with the teams doing the, the proposals rather than with us. We, our turnaround and evaluation is actually generally within sort of two, three weeks. We provide grants of up to 250,000 per project and at least 40% match funding is required. Um, what we're looking for in good proposals is very much a focus on commercialisation. So this isn't R&D for R&D's sake. We really want to understand how this is helping companies move towards commercialisation. So come the last day of the project, if it did what you wanted it to do, um, how does that move you towards commercialisation? Uh, and I've talked a little bit about research accelerators already. Um, the two areas we're focusing on at the moment are third generation solar voltaics and bioenergy. Business incubator, as I say, is, is really about creating investment opportunities, and that might be helping companies to get licensed deals, raise funding, secure partnerships. That's up to 60,000 to support per company, and we work with companies over 12 to 24 months. The support we provide is in, we don't do technology development, but we look at technology protection um, and, and product development, design for manufacture, that kind of thing. A lot of it, a lot of the work we do is on commercial potential, and we really try to go out and talk to the market and validate the proposition, validate the business model, and often um, we can get access to, to larger companies that, that the startups find it difficult to get to. Uh, so a lot of work on that. We also work with the management team to look at how they're going to need to build that to raise investment. And we're helping people um, ultimately to raise funding, make sure they've got a profitable business model. We do some, uh, similar to Connect Midlands, we do annual investment readiness programme. We're developing other workshops around industrial partnering, strategic selling and so on. Uh, the way it works, um, you apply through, we, we work with four um, incubator partners who develop the proposals with the companies. They'll, they'll take a view as to whether or not it meets the Carbon Trust criteria or we'll work with the company to develop the proposal. And then between Carbon Trust, the incubator partner and the company will agree a programme of work that's going to be done. And we make that out as flexible as possible. It really needs to meet, do whatever the company needs it to do. We've worked with 65 companies since we started the scheme. We've got working with 26 companies at the moment. Uh, 26 of the 65 have raised private investment, so others have raised public investment. Our measure of success is private money coming in, uh, which is a pretty good success rate given that a lot of those companies, it's their very first funding round, so they are very early stage companies we're working with. We've had three AIM listings uh, to date, um, and the companies have raised over 70 million of private funding uh, to date, and I say other public and, and grant funding as well. Uh, and we've had three license agreements put in place and we almost had a really nice joint development agreement sorted but that's just collapsed at the last moment. Um, finally investments, so we've got the venture capital side of the business which is investments of 750 to 2 million. Um, so far we've made 11 investments, one exit and a couple that have uh, disappeared. So sort of stand, standard procedure for a VC portfolio. Um, we've also got the low carbon seed fund which is which makes investments up to 250,000. Um, that's a two million fund, uh, it's half our money, half Imperial, uh, half Shell Foundation money and it's managed by Imperial Innovations. <coughs> um, again if you're interested in uh, submitting a, a sum business plan summary there's a contact on our website and, and that's the, the address for those. So. That was a very quick canter through the, the various bits of support we've got available. There's lots of information on the website about what we're looking for and criteria and, and how the support works. Um, and we've also got a stand outside. We've got guys from the R&D team and from a number of our incubator partners. So do please uh, grab us for, for more information through the day. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.